Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in Inkscape to modify the simple game characters from the last video, turning the knight into a sci-fi character inspired by the Mandalorian. Let's start with the knight from the last video, duplicate all the shapes and put it into a new layer that we'll be working on to create the new character. Let's get rid of the beard. We don't need the face at all because it will be hidden by the helmet. So the helmet will have to be larger. We don't need those little dots. And then the helmet will be a lot longer and pointy towards the bottom. I used the note tool to make those small changes. My apologies for the not always precise clicks and drags. It's not the tool, it's my lack of motor function at the moment. Inkscape works fine, my hands do not, so please bear with me, I am trying my best. I use the straight line with the stroke as the new feature for the helmet. I duplicate the line, set it to horizontal, add a center node to create that Mandalorian look. I cut those two lines and paste it inside the clipping mask. I adjust the highlights and start adding more details. With these characters, the helmets are the feature items, so they do deserve a little bit more attention and take up a little longer to adjust in order to get them right. With the body and the limbs it's mainly color changes and adding detail. I'm also adding the body parts that were not visible with the knight. In order to make it easier not accidentally click on the helmet all the time, I just lock that group. I added a new shape that I thought might come in handy. It's a rectangle using the pass effect corners to round two of the angles. If I scale this one up, you can see those two corners get adjusted. 
So in order to scale in that leaf shape, I convert it to a pass first and then scale it up and get the result I want. I color this and place it all the way below the objects. I changed the stroke type of the legs to be straight rather than rounded. Unlike the knight, these characters will get feet. Let's give this guy a little bit more detail. He gets some fingers and then I'll add a gun in the other hand. Rather than use the pen tool and draw the silhouette of the gun, I just take my basic shapes and build the gun from there, duplicating the elements as I go, because a lot of the base shapes do repeat, at least at this small level. You can always add more detail later on, and since you've got the basic shapes, adding to it is no big deal. It's the initial designing part that usually is a lot harder when you use the pen or the pencil tool. I'm not quite happy with the look of the cape. I changed that a little bit more, making it look more dynamic by modifying the node handles. I'm not quite happy with the proportions of the character at the moment. The helmet seems too small, the body too big, so I select everything but the helmet and scale it down a little bit. Unlike the knights, these characters can have a bit more detail. So I'm adding some smaller parts to the body to make them look more interesting. This seems like a good point to see how the character looks in a smaller size. I duplicate everything, group it and scale it down and I'm quite happy with the design as it is. So I'm probably going to leave this one and start with the next character. I duplicate the layer and give it a new name, lock the old one, make it invisible and now we have the Skyfire character too. And I change the color of the helmet getting my new colors right. I delete the elements I won't be using and modify others that I can reuse. Just like before, I like to duplicate shapes take them from other parts of the design and just place them where I need them. Change the color, which is really easy with the color picker because most of the colors are in place already. Slowly I transform the Mandalorian into a Stormtrooper. With designs like this it's real easy because the design itself is iconic. As soon as the eyes and the mouth are in place, it reads like a Stormtrooper mask.
With the helmet done for now, it's time to adjust the colors of the rest of the body to match the base colors of a stormtrooper. The chest plate has different looks so I move the center node up and scale the whole thing down. I cut the eyes and the highlight and make them part of the clipping group that is the helmet. It helps me organize my elements for the export later on. For this character I turn the gun into a rifle, keeping most of the elements just recoloring and repositioning them. Holding shift while you move elements keeps them in the same horizontal or vertical position depending on which direction you move. Let's call this one done and duplicate, scale and compare to the other one. I think they are a pretty good match. I'm just having too much fun with this so let's do one more. It's gonna be a variation of this Stormtrooper. I start by grouping the gun and it'll be on his back rather than him carrying it in his hands. I move the group behind all the other elements by pressing the end key and alter the shape a little bit. I convert the rectangle to a pass so I can edit it with the node tool. I change the color a little bit and you can see how easy it is to make variations, alterations and create totally new characters from those few simple shapes. I really like the look of the painted helmet so this one will get some bright red stripes on his helmet and on the chest armor. Seeing both shapes are clipping groups, I paste a line into the helmet, color it red and set it to multiply. As much as I like the rounded ends of the stroke, sometimes it makes sense to have them end straight.
And that is the variation done. I duplicate, group and scale to match the other two. And that's three characters done in less than 45 minutes. They're all based on a very different design from the last video. It did help a lot to have the base and the shapes. So it was more variation, modification, a little bit of scaling and recoloring to create these. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification button and I will see you again soon.